Got a phone call here sponsored by go.tagjag.com slash Petco. You can save 10% on your next Petco order by heading over to go.tagjag.com slash Petco. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. It's, uh, Nikolai from Denmark. Oh, howdy. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I have uh, so many questions for you. Sure, well, let's, uh, let's try to narrow it down. I have so many, I have, I have so many uh, topics, but I know you only have so mu uh, much time, so I, I'll let you decide which topic we should discuss. Okay. Okay. Uh, a, why is uh, Lego so uh, intriguing uh, to everybody? Okay. E, citizen journalism. Journalism, okay. And uh, C, politics on Facebook. Windmills. Oh, thanks for that last option there. Okay, so we've got Lego. Uh, Medicine, journalism. Journalism, uh, Facebook privacy, or the, the politics around that, or windmills. Oh, no, politics, you know, uh, po 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 uh, um, uh, po uh, polit uh, politicians, you know, like um, Republicans and Democrats. Oh, oh, you don't, uh, we're going to leave that option out. We don't. You do not yeah. want to get me going on politics, because believe you me, th this phone call will never end. I okay, guarantee okay. you. Never end. We'll, we'll just rule so it now. I, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not up on my windmill news as much as I used to be back in the day. Uh, so really, it's down to, to Lego or journalism. You know, uh, I've got strong feelings for either one of them. Uh, I could ask the chat room which one uh, they wanted me to answer, but unfortunately with the lag, I don't know if I'd get a response in time. I think, uh, okay. you know, we've recently done, uh, I guess, phone calls about oh, Lego. Great. I was actually going to, I'm glad the chat room caught up because I was about to go the direction of talking about journalism and what I think about it, but who the hell cares? Okay, Lego is the topic. Now, if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that is, uh, isn't that uh, Danish? The, the actual word, it's, it's a com conjunction of two it. words? So, so what does Lego mean? It, it means, in a, it's a Danish word, and it's a short for play uh, well or play good. Play well or play good. And that's accurate. Yeah, L-E-G L, L, e, uh, means play, and G-O is short for good. Huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I knew you're, that... You're, playing, you're, you're having a good time playing. Yeah, you know, to me, Lego, uh, you know, I didn't know anything about it. When, when I got my first Lego uh, kit back in the day, in fact, I uploaded a video to YouTube a, a few months ago of that experience of unwrapping the first Lego kit. I didn't know what it was, and I still remember. I, I swear, I still remember... Uh, unwrapping that as a, uh, on Christmas morning as a gift, um, and I don't know why it was just uh, it to me it was interesting. Uh, it, 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 the the pieces were compact, clean edges. I could put them together and assemble them in a variety of patterns. Uh, it was exciting, and that was back then. Years later, Lego started doing uh, different themes, like uh, they had like uh, castles and knights. Uh, you know, medieval theme, they had like a space theme, they had like city themes, and that was, again, that was, you know, a big deal. That's when I, I had my first real minifig experience, and I don't know. I, I really, I don't know what it was for me as a child that was so uh, drawn to that universe, which really wasn't all that big compared to the way it is today. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've built, uh, you know, Lego kits here on the live video feed. Uh, Lego's recently reached out to me uh, to, to send me at least one kit to take a look at, and I was thrilled about that. I, I don't think they realized that I was such a big Lego fan. But, you know, I, I, I think part of it is the nostalgia for me since I grew up with Lego, and part of it yeah. is that, that childhood, you know, fascination and certainly the, uh, uh, the sense of accomplishment that I feel yeah, yeah. when when I yep. yeah when I've assembled something and chances uh, you know are I'm going to keep whatever it is that I've assembled together I, I'm not one to tear things down as much as other people are um, 
I don't know. So I Small think it's a... Way, sir, uh, Chris? Go ahead, no. Always uh, follow the instructions, or do you sometimes um, uh, construct some some models yourself? No, I, I'm not one uh, to, to build my own, uh, so to speak. Uh, I always like following the instructions. That's me. But I, I tell you, I've known of two or three people out there who have replicated my home office in Lego. So I'm really looking. I would love to... To, to meet someone oh, who could crazy. right well it's crazy but I would love to meet someone who <laughs> could put together the kit of Chris Perillo's home office I would love to have my truly like everything that you know assemble it brick by brick uh, and you know everything as close as possible to my home office at least this angle from it and I would love to you know uh, build my own home office like legitimately with all the colors and everything uh, it would be a lot of fun for me. I don't, but I couldn't do it. I can't think spatially that way. I can follow instructions, but in terms of that yeah. level of creativity, to be able to replicate it to show other people how they could do it, uh, I, I don't have that uh, that necessarily uh, uh, that skill. Uh, but you know, it's you know, Lego. I, I think it is a uh, it's fun. Uh, I think it it gets me uh, to the point where. I'm not thinking about the task at hand. It's kind of, a, I don't really turn into a robot, so to speak, but I'm on a task. And so when I get busy with work or I'm getting stressed out, I need to zone out. And sometimes I need to, you know, uh, put my mind on an activity that's relatively mindless. And Lego and constructing kits, that, that's really, I'm not saying it's a mindless activity, but I can zone out. So Lego to me is zen. You know, it gives me a chance to kind of chill out and and to really build a sense of accomplishment with uh, putting together a, a, a kit. I don't know. It's it's a lot of things rolled into one for me. Everybody's different, but apparently you've struck a chord with the question with the chat room because everybody wanted me to talk about Lego and not journalism. <laughs> well, um, uh, uh, you know, I'm from Denmark and. Um... And uh, it's uh, the homeland of Lego. Yes. Have you ever heard of uh, Have you ever heard of Legoland? I've heard of it. I've never been to Legoland. I quite honestly, I think I'd be afraid with that many kids touching pieces that I would touch. To, I'm not a germaphobe, uh, but I, I like playing with my own Lego. To tell you the truth. No, but no, but it's not. Uh, you don't play with. Uh, you just see the models. Oh, have the... like a. Uh, uh, almost full size statue of liberty and no no not full size but you know what i mean sure it's it's built it's to scale amazing, right dude i tell you if you ever get to go to denmark uh, you have to visit uh, legoland oh uh, yeah definitely no I, I i'd consider that a done i would love to visit lego headquarters I, I would love to have a brick fresh off the assembly line yeah, right? talk with the engineers it'd be neat how they construct the blocks and well, well, you know they've got uh, an annual event out here in Seattle called BrickCon, and that's okay. for adult Lego fanatics uh, with uh, yeah. just a, an amazing array of creative people. I have yet to go, though. It, something's always come up, and I hadn't been able to attend. Uh, but uh, there is that. I guess that's not exactly the same, but uh, at least the art would come to me. And I don't yeah, mean... And, uh, I don't mean Lego, adult. The, the, Simpsons, uh, the Simpsons, they went to Blogo Land. Yes, that yes. Was, that was, uh, you know, a uh, spoof of, uh, of Lego. Right, uh, on the Simpsons. Yes, I remember. Yeah, on, well, the, on the back seat, Lisa thought uh, by accident, he said Lego and said, oh, I mean Blogo, you know what I mean? Yep, yep. Everyone knows what Lego is. Everything else is just a, a, a distant substitution. But I, I have to clarify, I said adult. But in America, when you say the word adult, that usually implies something else. And I mean for grown-ups, as in people who aren't kids. Yeah. I don't think they make adult Lego kits, at least official ones. And I don't know if I'd even want to see unofficial ones in that capacity. 